Okay, we're here with Lloyd. Now, Lloyd, you were talking a little bit before we got on camera here. I want to know, we've been looking at the research. 91% of the African American community, according to Gallup, still supports Obama. That's higher, way higher than almost anybody else. Why is that, and do you support Obama, and how do you think of the job that he's doing? Well, I think he's done a marvelous job so far. Okay. You know, but the problem is they won't let him do his job. Now, who's not letting him do his job? Uh, the Republican. <laughs> <laughs> but who, who's running? But the Democrats are running Congress. Nancy Pelosi and Harry Reid. The Republicans don't control anything. Well, they don't control anything. But then, but they look like they got something already set up for everything he does. Sabotage him. They, that's right. They sabotage him. You know, and he cannot get nothing. Everything he do to them, it seems like he's doing it wrong. What has he done that you like so far? Well, right now I just can't say what, all the things that he's done that I like so far. But I like that, you know, the similar package I think was a good idea. Okay. You know, and I just think that the job he's done is a marvelous job because when he taking the office, all this was already waiting on him. You know. How important was it to you to see an African American as president? That was very important to me. Okay. You know, uh, I was born in, in Louisiana, yeah. and I really didn't know if I would ever be able to see a black president. Now, were so you to me, around the civil rights time when my granddad was yes. Jackson, Mississippi? Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. So I think it was very good for him to be uh, a president. You didn't think you'd ever see this? I didn't think I'd ever see it, to be honest with you. You know, you know, I'm a pretty old fella. I was born in 1934. Wow. So you know that... You don't look it. Well, I am, you know. <laughs> so I just didn't think I'd be able to see anything like this that happened. And I was thrilled to death. Emotional. You really. Could the, for the community, they felt the same way, do you think? I think so, yeah. So how, and, much, how much of his support just real talk now, do you think is because of the racial issue with the African American community? Well, I think a lot of support comes from the African American community. Has you your know? life changed, or have you seen other people's lives change for the better, for the worse, since he's been elected? Because we know that the unemployment rate is really high, and it's actually really, really high for the African American community. I mean. How has your life changed, pro and con, or, or folks around you, since he's been elected? Well, I can't say that my lifestyle has changed. Okay. You know, because really, I haven't seen such a, a big difference. Yeah. Now, here's my other question. There's been a lot of really strong African-American conservatives, whether it's like um, Michael Steele who's running, who used to be governor of Maryland, who's running the, the Republican you know, uh, party now. Yeah. There's been a lot of people that are yep. really strong, J.C. Watson, went on. Why hasn't there been support for these folks from the African-American community? Well, I don't know what their problem, problem is. You know, sometimes you hear people talking and some of them say that they're getting paid to do what they've done. Okay. You know, so sell out. Sell out. Okay. You know, so I can't say that they sell out. Now, other people call that, them crossovers. That's what crossover they are. Artists, they crossover artists. They right? crossover, that's Come right. On, you know, really, crossover. I, really, I really do think they crossover. You know, and I don't see why that they don't uh, support him because, hey, back in the 40s and even up to the late 50s, they was catching hell just like everybody else was. Right. All other black people. I mean, is it, that's the thing. Like, I'm half Hispanic. Uh -huh. and, but I've always seen myself as just an American. Now, I've, I've fought for civil rights. We've marched with my dad. He was a big Democrat and did a lot of stuff. Clinton won him in his cabinet. But I just believe that isn't, I mean, that, that's what bothers me a little bit about some of this. Mm -hmm. I appreciate the pride that you have, especially coming from where you came from. Yeah. But aren't we all Americans? I mean, wouldn't you be upset if, like, say, White people only voted for white people, or wouldn't vote for Obama. You know what I mean? You yeah, see what I'm getting I would at? be upset. I really, I would, really would be upset. It's one thing I have to give Bush credit for. Kept us safe. Yeah. Yes, he did. You know, I, you know. What the about way that guy went, on that plane? Well, they should turn him over to me. <laughs> <laughs> forget, forget Guantanamo. Yeah, yeah. That's right. You know? Let, let me have him. But see, that, that's an important point right there. That is. I believe that people in their everyday lives, you know, whether it, it, it's wealthy people, poor people, African-American, white, doesn't matter, are more conservative 
than they think. Yeah. When you take the names and the, and the stuff, my dad was the same way. Yep. Lifelong Democrat. But man, when it came to crime, hey, you gotta get that stuff. You got to get it. Right? You got to get it. When it you came know, to yeah. work, you need to do your work. That's right. You see you what know, I'm saying? Uh -huh. Let me ask you some questions about some issues. Mm -hmm. So like the war on terror. What do you think about, should we should we treat them like military combatants or should we have these trials and spend all this money to do this and lawyer them up or you know like like we did with this guy from, from Nigeria trying to blow people up? I don't think we just spend all that money on them. Mm -mm. I think it's a waste of money. Mm -hmm. You know, because what he's trying to do, he's trying to kill innocent people. That's what I'm saying. And all that money that he's spending on it could be helping some, not just all our budgets and stuff could yeah. be going to the, towards that. That's your you money, know, my just, money. Yeah. We pay instead taxes. Of, instead of spending all that money on him, just have him one day trial <laughs> and have him found him guilty right. and do what you're going to do with him. Right. You know, instead of having court do it all that. Because I tell you, it costs a lot of money. A lot of money. Trial and and, and, you, and you, know, you know, when they got the cameras in there, they're going to have all the best lawyers come there and make a yes. show of the whole thing like they did with OJ or whatever. Making money. Everybody going to make money, money except the Get people on that TV. need the money. When you earn, wouldn't you like to have more money for yourself? Yes, I would. <laughs> I'm saying, do you think you can spend your money better than the government? I think I can. <laughs> and I believe At you, least sir. I can hit, and I believe you. I can hold in my and pocket better. I, I can feel yeah. it. <laughs> right? That's your own stimulus. That's it. That's stimulus. Now, you know? what about like for freedom of speech and stuff like that? We, there's all these things. Of, or, or, or let's talk about the environment. What about all that? I mean. Don't you think you should be able to have the TV that you want, drive the car that you want, eat the food that you want? They're trying to stop you from doing that now. You can't eat this meat. You have to drive this little car. What do you think about that? I don't think that's that's right. Mm -hmm. I think a person should eat what he can afford, what he feel like eating. Yeah, you want to go to the dogs, go to the dogs. And if he wanted to drive a, a, a Cadillac, yes. let him drive one. Oh, that and if he wanted to drive an 8-mile, T-mile, let him drive that. Yes. You know? I drive a Cadillac, but don't mean that I'm rich. That's right. <laughs> you so know? you want to be able to have the freedom and liberty to do what to you do want. To do what I want to That's do. That's America. That's America. Okay, yeah. last question on this. Gay marriage. What do you think about that? Well, I... California <laughs> voted against it. They did. Gay marriage, I think, is something that's left up between... I do believe that marriage is to be between a man and a woman. Uh huh. Like the Bible. You know, back like the Bible. All right. You know. You know. See now you're sound more conservative. <laughs> you see when we go issue to issue. Not really. Uh, no. There's so many things here in Oakland could have been better and should be better. You know, but our young generation is going crazy. This is the whole problem what? here. What do you mean by you that? You know, they. Well, I feel like this. Once they took the belt out of the parents hand yeah they put the gun in the young man's hand mm -hmm. you know when I was coming up you didn't see all the young fellas hanging around on the corners yeah. and street and I think the one thing that Hillary uh, Clinton said it takes a village and a community to raise a family and that's the way I was raised in my community if I was done something wrong any other person or whoever could tell me they're looking after you yeah uh -huh. and i had to do it uh -huh. don't i would get a spanking there when i got home i got another one no escape you know no escape but now they say it's a child abuse you know but I, my grandfather gave it to me and i think it was love spare the rod for the child that's it you know i made it this far and i'm not in never been to prison never been in jail and nothing like that so i think those Stripes that he gave me worked for the best. Boy, you you're know. a great American. Uh -huh. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. It. So nice right. to meet you. Thank man. you. God nice bless to meet you. you. God, God bless, bless you. you. Thank you. All right. Thank